Hi there. We're going to talk about projectile motion. If an object is projected upward with an initial velocity of 126 feet per second, its height, h, after t seconds, is h equals negative 16 t squared plus 126 t. Find the height of the object after 4 seconds. Now this problem can sound really scary, especially if you don't have any kind of technical background. But all you really need to know is that this equation tells you how high the object is after a certain amount of time. And for time, you always put that number in for the t. So when we're talking about 4 seconds, that means you're going to take 4 and substitute it for the two t's. So we'll have h equals negative 16 times 4 squared plus 126 times 4. That's all there is to it. You can put it in your calculator. This is going to equal negative 16 times 16 plus 126 times 4. And I am going to go to my calculator right now and find out how much that is. Hope it's on. 126 times 4, enter, and I get 504. Now I'm going to find out what negative 16 times positive 16 is. It's negative 256. So negative 256 plus 504 That's 760. No, I said never mind. Careful, be careful. 504 minus 256, enter. There you go. H is going to equal 258, 248. 248 feet. After 4 seconds, the object is going to be 248 feet above the ground. Now, here's a real projectile motion problem. If an object is propelled upward from a height of s feet at an initial velocity of v feet per, per second, then its height h after t seconds is given by the equation h equals negative 16 t squared plus v t plus s where h is in feet. Now that sentence is just an explanation of where these numbers come from. Now we're going to start talking about what you need to know to solve this problem. What the next sentence tells you is that an object is propelled from a height four feet above the ground. The initial velocity, the beginning speed of the object is going to be 96 feet per second. And this negative 16 shows the effect of gravity, which is always pulling down on anything you throw up. So what we have to do is use this equation, this formula, to find after how many seconds is the height of the object 144 feet. That's all. 
So since height is 144 feet, we're going to put 144 in for the height. And that will give us the following. 144 equals negative 16 t square plus 96 t plus 4. Now all I have to do is solve this. It's a quadratic equation, so I'm going to use the zero principle and pull this 144 over to the other side. so that I can set the equation equal to zero. Whoops! Glad I caught that. 96t plus 4 minus 144 is going to be minus 140. Now, we can go ahead and use grouping on this if we want to, but it's always better to look for a common factor in all three terms first, <coughs> so that we can pull it out, make the numbers smaller. I've already investigated this problem, and I know that 4 will go evenly into all of these numbers. There is one more thing, however. When your leading coefficient is negative and you're pulling out a common factor, you need to pull out a negative common factor. And don't forget to divide the other side by that same common factor. Now what this will do for us is give us a zero on the left this will be positive 4 t square. This will be, let's see, 96 divided by negative 4. It's going to be negative 24, so minus 24 t. And then I'm going to divide negative 140 by negative 4. and I'll get 35, so this will be plus 35. This is the equation we're going to solve to find out after how many seconds this projectile is 144 feet above the ground. All right, here we go. 0 equals 4t squared minus 24t plus 35. Let me make this 2 darker. There. Now, I'm going to use grouping. And I'm going to use my favorite calculator trick. I'm going to say I'm going to go to y equals, and I'll say 4 times 35 divided by x, and then I'll come down to y2, and I'll say x plus 4 times 35 divided by x. And then I'll say second graph and I'll look for my B number, which is negative 24. So I'm scrolling down right now. Oops, I'm going in the wrong direction. Well, that doesn't help. Now I'm going in the right direction. There it is. Okay. The numbers accompanying negative 24 are negative 10 and negative 14. So I'll have 0 equals 4t squared minus 10t 
minus 14t plus 35. Okay, so 0 equals parentheses for t squared minus 10t plus parentheses negative 14t plus 35. 0 equals, I factor the first set of parentheses by the greatest common factor, which is going to be 2t. So 2t times 2t minus 5 plus, now remember, in this binomial, the leading term is negative 14t. The leading coefficient is negative 14. When you pull a GCF out of a polynomial, and that polynomial has a negative leading co uh, coefficient, you have to pull out a negative GCF. So I'm going to pull out negative 7. That will leave me 2t minus 5. And you should always double check that negative 7 times 2t is negative 14t, and negative 7 times negative 5 is positive 35. So we did this correctly. Now 2t minus 5 matches 2t minus 5. It becomes the new GCF. So I pull it out to the front. And then I multiply by what's left, which is 2t minus 7. And those are my factors. Now, I set each factor equal to 0. 2t minus 5 equals 0. And 2t minus 7 equals 0. So coming back to the left side, 2t equals 5, t equals 5 over 2. And over here on the right, add 7 to both sides, 2t equals 7, then divide both sides by 2. So t equals 7 over 2. And these are seconds. Well, how can there be two answers? Simple. Here's your projectile. If this is ground level, it starts off four feet above the ground. It goes up. It comes down. Now, at two times, the projectile is going to be 144 feet above the ground. When it's going up and when it's going down and both times are times from the instant that the projectile is shot upward. So, the smaller time after two and a half seconds, which is five over two seconds, the ball or the projectile will be here. Then it continues and then it's at 144 feet again at 7 over 2 seconds after it shot up. So I think quite honestly it would be okay in this case to say 2.5 seconds and 3.5 seconds. Okay? We can talk about this more in class if you want.